solve 3 sine 2x is equal to 0 is equal to 2 and you want all the x's between 0 to 360. So let's solve this. Uh, so first I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So if you divide both sides by 3, this 3 will get cancelled. So sine 2x, I'll write this in the bracket, is equal to 2 thirds. So sine, so taking sine inverse of both sides, you can say 2x. I'm writing a caret sign like this. This is called the prime principal angle is equal to sine inverse of 2 thirds. Sine inverse of 2 thirds. So 2x is equal to sine inverse of 2 thirds. So let me use a calculator. So menu 1. So shift sine of 2 divided by 3, which is 41.8 degree. So this is your principal angle. So this is 41.8 degree. So let us understand this on, a, on, the, uh, on the unit circle. So in other words, what we are saying is when a particle uh, has moved 41.8 degrees, your y coordinate is uh, 2 thirds. Say, let me show you that. Suppose this is a, I'm dividing, this is a unit circle. So this is one third, this is two thirds. So this is a one zero. You need to understand the maths. Uh, you can do the whole thing on a graphic calculator, but that's not the real learning. So this is say one comma zero. This is negative one comma zero. So this is a unit circle. So this is say, 0 comma 1, 0 comma 1, oops, I should be using a smaller eraser for some reason, so 0 comma neg 1, and this is 0 comma negative 1. So 41.8 degrees, so let, let us make a rough sketch, so this is a around 41 degrees, okay. So what are we saying? When a particle has moved 41 degrees, this is say roughly 41 degrees, 41.8 degrees. So let me write this as a, okay, for, let us write only 41.8 to be exact. So when the particle has moved 41 degrees, your corresponding y coordinate is two thirds. So this is roughly two thirds. So this is two thirds. So this is your two thirds. That is what it means, because your sign, if you know your unit circle, your x corresponds to your cos theta, because x is your adjacent. x is on adjacent. I hope you understand. So x is x is cos theta, and y you should remember is sine theta. This is how I remember, because cos is car that is adjacent. I hope you understand x you can compare with adjacent and opposite is for this angle can if you suppose let me draw a right angle triangle. If you draw a right angle triangle here, if you drop a perpendicular here, can you understand this is your x and this is your y. Okay, so this is adjacent that's cos theta and this is your y. So I'm not going into that much now. So yeah, in other words, when you have 41 degree and this is your two thirds, what are we find? What are we saying? What is the relationship? We are saying when the particle has moved 41.8 degrees, the y coordinate is two thirds. So if the y coordinate is two thirds, there is one more angle, which is in this quadrant. So when the particle has moved, come has moved here, has moved here that will also correspond to two thirds here. So it is two thirds from the both, from the first quadrant and the second quadrant, this is two thirds. So this is 41.8 in the first quadrant and this is 41.8 in the second quadrant. This is 41.8 in the second quadrant and that's why it's called the principal angle. So 41.8 in the second quadrant is same as if you want to, because as a convention, you always are stating the angle from the positive arm of the x-axis. So this is a positive arm of x-axis. So if you state this, 
you are if you want to describe the particle say, say this is a p1 and say this is p2 at p1 the particle has moved 41.8 degree at p2 it has moved 90 or sorry 180 minus 41 degrees i hope you can understand this this much so this angle to describe the particle at p2 you can say this is 180 this is 180 half half turn minus uh, 41.8 degrees so 180 minus 41.8 degrees okay therefore you can say uh, 2x the other 2x this is the principal angle the other 2x would be 180 minus 41.8 degrees okay so that is so let me use a calculator so 180 minus 41.8 is 138.2 degrees so which is 138.2 degrees so if so let me write so your two the two answers in so your principal angle is principal angle is 41.8 and the other angle that you get to x is 138.2 degrees now if you divide both sides by 2, so this is 20.9, uh, 20.9, and this is, uh, this is 1, so let me use a calculator, uh, this is divided by 2, which is 69.1. So here, these are the two answers within, uh, between 0 to 180. We want all the answers between 0 to 360. Now, hopefully you should be knowing this has an amplitude of 3 and this number tells you the period the period here is 180 degree the period is 180 degree so so your cycle or your the cycle is repeated twice within 360 so you got the two answers between 0 to so this is your first answer this is the principal angle this is the second answer within 3, 180 so your third answer would be you have to keep adding 180 to this. So if you add 180 to this, this will be 200.9. This is your third answer, x3. And if you add 180 to this, uh, will be 180 uh, to 49.1 degrees. So this is how you can use a unit circle uh, to get to the answer without using the graphic calculator. Now let us... I have drawn all way, already the sine curve. Okay, so let me write the equation. The equation was 3 sine 2x is equal to 2. So if you divide both sides by 2, sorry, 3 sine 2x is equal to 2 thirds. So sine 2x has a period of 180. I hope you know sine 2x has a period of 180. So how do you do that? So that is 360 divided by the coefficient of x, which is 2, which is 180 degree. So this equation has a period of 180 degree. So this is 180 degree. So this is one cycle from year to year. It's one cycle, and this is the second cycle. So the principal angle, in other words, suppose let us go back. Can you see the first angle? This is your principal angle, 20, 20. In other words, you can say this is your principal angle of 20.9. So this is your 20.9. So you assume it, if you go 20.9 from 0, you get the first solution. This is, this solution is 180. This is 20 away from, 20.9 away from 0. So this solution is, 20 away from 180 so 180 minus 20.9 okay which is what that's what we got uh, uh, that will be 69.1 okay uh, 180 am I right uh, no sorry this is not this is not 180 that's why I was confusing so this is 
this is 90 sorry so this is 20 away from 90 so 90 minus 20.9 so let us use the calculator so we are doing this in a different way so 90 minus 20.9 will give you the third second answer so this is 69.1 this is 69.1. So using the same symmetry, see this is two thirds. Your, this is your first answer. So this is your principal angle. So this is 20 away from zero. So 20 away from 90, which is 69.1. Then you can go 20 away from 180. You can go 20 away from 20, sorry, 20 20.9 away from 180. So this answer is 180 plus 20.9 which is 200.9 and for this will be 270 this is 270 so this is two this answer would be 270 hopefully I'm right 270 take away 20.9 okay so let's use the calculator 270 take away 20.9 which is 249.9 am I right 249.1 this will be 249 point this is 249.1 now if you are lazy like me at times you can use the calculator and go to graph and type in the sign 2x okay and this is your graph that's what we drew and we want to find G sol and we want to find x calc, which is 2 divided by 3. So first answer is 20.9. The sec this is your second answer. This is your third answer. And finally, your fourth answer, 249.1. This is rounding to the first decimal place.